Wonderful. Well, I just want to say thank you all for joining me. My name is Cass. I'm from CBR, and it's a pleasure to speak to you all about the Irregulars. Uh, so it's fantastically fun. Uh, it's a wonderful twist mm -hmm. and supernatural X-Files-like adventure starring you three. Uh, mm -hmm. So my first question was just uh, individually for you all to answer, starting first with Darcy. Uh, what was your take on this show when you first read the script? Um, I was completely kind of captured by it, I think. Um, I must have read the first episode over 20 times, probably, um, because we <laughs> didn't get any more episodes until we went to the read-through, so I just kept reading over the material. Um, you know, I think the most exciting thing about it is every time you read it, you seem to find something new. Um, a detail that you didn't see before because so many things are happening and there's action all the time it, it's really action-packed and I think I really love the relationships as well between all the characters and the way that they develop as well is really interesting and I think it's got so many cool elements um, and so many different things as I say going on it's it's really exciting the show. Wonderful uh, and you Harrison uh, what was your take when you first read the script? Yeah I remember yeah getting the script the first time and then reading it through and being like I need to read more. I need to find out what happens. I think uh, the sort of first episode is a, is a great introduction to the characters and gives a, a glimpse of, of what they're all about and possibly what, they're, what they've been through. And uh, as the series goes on, and as you start to read more and watch more as well, you delve deeper into these characters and deeper into the relationships that they have with each other. And it just goes from strength to strength and really gathers momentum as the series continues. And last, but certainly not least, uh, Thadea. <laughs> Uh, Thadia, is it Thadia? Yeah, Thadia. Thadia. Um, Thadia, what did you think of the script when you first got your hands on it? I just, I couldn't quite believe that <laughs> they had taken a chance on me <laughs> and <laughs> trusted me with B. I mean, it's such a, it's such a gift to be given a role like that. And Tom has created such a beautiful, rich, um, multifaceted world for us to explore. And there's so many, um, you I mean, you've got comedy in there you've got your uh horror you've got really heavy themes that are dealt with in such a beautifully delicate and honest way so it just felt like an absolute dream to be to be a part of it and um yeah very exciting and building off that uh, specifically Bea's role who's pretty much the ringleader of this ragtag group of street teens mm -hmm. <laughs> which is so lovely yeah. and so fun um what do you think um motivates her to take on this role for her friends and arguably her family mm. um it's absolutely without a doubt her little sister and that need to look after her and protect her and i when b was three and jesse was a baby they their mother died and uh b had to step into this role of being i suppose a carer for for jesse and that's something that she's carried with her entire life and something that she does absolutely wholeheartedly, but I think it really weighs on her and it's made her grow up very quickly. Um, and I think that responsibility is, is something that she feels that like she has to carry by herself, but learns that she's awesome and then it's okay to let other people in and be vulnerable. Although it's terrifying, uh, it's, it's okay. And that it can actually help. And I think the gang around her, I mean, that is definitely her chosen family. And she doesn't, she's got a very guarded heart. And when she chooses to let someone in, they're kind of there forever, whether they want to be or not. Um, <laughs> and I think that's a really, really lovely quality in her. Yeah, and uh, speaking of her sister, Jessie, how do you think, because let's just say the sister's gone a complicated journey of redefining their roles, you know, who's taking care of who, how do you think uh, they uh, would describe her relationship with her sister? Oh wow! I think, I think just completely unapologetically honest. They don't really hide anything from each other, and I think with that kind of honesty, although it's lovely, it can kind of get you in hot water sometimes as well. Maybe when you say things that you mean with heart, but they take it as a kind of an brutally attack. Brutally honest. Or, yes, brutally yeah. honest. That's that's the word. <laughs> hmm. Um. And I think both of them are, are at times are fighting for that trust. And it, and I think Jesse says to her right at the midway through episode one, like, just trust me on this one, okay? I know that you, well, she doesn't say this, but I think this is what she means. I know that you've always kind of been the leader, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'm not a child anymore. Just let me let me do this and help you as well. And I think that discovery of, oh, okay, we can, we can help each other. It's not just me taking care of you now. 
um, is, is a really beautiful discovery. Certainly. And uh, Darcy, how do you think Jessie would describe her relationship with uh, V as the series progresses and just how does she see her sister and her role changing with her? Yeah, I think the dynamic shifts a lot. Um, I think just because, you know, they are young women and they are kind of just discovering themselves um, with each day, especially if you add in the kind of really crazy and fantastical events that are happening throughout the show, I think, you know, the dynamic is bound to shift. And, you know, I think their kind of strengths play off each other as well. Um, and I think, you know, as as Thaddea said, I think, you know, Jessie kind of, you see Jessie kind of take control and think, you know, she's, in, she's got the reins now and she can kind of, she can look after her sister for a bit because B has been doing it for as long as Jessie was alive. Um, she's been looking after her. So I think for Jessie, it's a pretty big moment for her to kind of step in and say, no, I, I can look after you now. Like I can do something for you. And um, so I think that's a pretty special moment. But as I said, I think it shifts throughout the show. I think, um, you know, they both go through moments where they think, oh no, oh no, I've really got myself in for something now. And then, you know, and the equally they go through moments where they feel really strong and powerful. So yeah, I think. Uh, and Harrison, so you play Leo, uh, a very posh character who yeah. decides to <laughs> to join the gang. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> is a hemophiliac and is locked away in his like gilded tower. What do you think yeah. inspires him to join, you know, the gang? And sp uh, specifically, because uh, it's such a great moment when he first sees B, what yeah. was he thinking when he first saw her and like thought about what else life could be? I think uh, what draws Leo to the Irregulars is seeing how close they are all with each other. I mean, Leo has never really experienced friendship or love outside of, uh, outside of the palace or maybe even inside. And uh, when he sees this sort of group of people that really love and care each other and will do anything for them, I think that's where he just wants to be and wants to experience that for himself and understand what that feels like. Um, and I think what draws him to be initially when he first sees him on that first sort of scene they have together is the fact the sort of disparity in the classes. Um, he's been, Leo's grown up to know that like sort of the royals are the elites and we take care of the world and we rule things the way we should. And the fact that B is so sort of headstrong and, uh, and, and strong and opposing to those views is something that really sort of <laughs> interests him and he wants to find out more and he's never seen that before uh, beforehand. So I think straight away, he wants to find out what that's all about. Lovely. Uh, so my last question is actually for Darcy, without spoiling uh, too much, there's definitely some scenes where, uh, let's just say, Jessie has some uh, strange visions and mm. is kind of out of herself uh, and is in an unreal state. What was the most cha challenging part about acting that on screen? Um, I think, I do think, you know, having the whole set around us, um, our set designers built a lot of the stuff that you see on the show and we did not use green screens as much as you may think so we were very fortunate in that way one of the most challenging I remember a day it was actually very towards it was the beginning of the shoot and there was this scene where I had to walk out in front of carriages like I was in mm. a trance and that was pretty scary because um there was a point where you know you have to get the timings right with the carriages and the horses because these horses are huge and it's like about six horses coming at you at once and then um, I think there was a point where I had to like jump out the way and say no I can't do that one because the carriage was coming too fast towards me and it probably would have took me out so um obviously it was yeah, very, very safe um, <laughs> no um yeah it was that was a bit of a scary moment but yeah <laughs> okay well that's that's it on my end this has been lovely I love Thanks so you much, Kath. Thank about your you. show. It's nice speaking Thank with you all. You so yeah, Thanks. nice to meet you. Thanks very much. Have a good day.